so we are going to study now metals and non metals now metals and non metals are obviously two opposite things and we have heard a lot about metals we have heard a lot about non metals how do metals react how do non metals react but one basic thing which we didn't learn was what are metals and what are non metals we don't have a specific definition as such for metals or for non metals rather they are or you might have had definitions like metals are substances which uh, give electron to become a positive ion and non metals are substances which accept electron to become negative ions but that's not the true definition because there are many exceptions to that actually metals and non metals are decided if you get a substance then whether it is a metal or a non metal is decided by its physical and chemical properties you can't say for sure by just looking at a definition whether it is a metal or it is a non metal you have to see a set of properties which defines whether it is a metal or a non metal so what are these properties let us first look at some physical properties physical properties of metals versus non metals now one thing you must have seen that all the metals when you think of a metal you think of something very shiny a shiny surface you can look uh, you can see or imagine it or something like that so metals if you have noticed will generally have a shining surface like if you take iron or uh, iron will not have such a shining surface if you take steel for example steel is an alloy of uh, iron and nickel and chromium and stuff so steel will have a very shining surface and gold silver obviously are shining then you have other metals also like copper copper is very shiny zinc is also shiny so metals will have a very shiny look which will which is called in terms of chemistry a luster that means that the luster means the shine which the metals have on their surfaces and on the other hand non metals do not have luster if you see carbon if you see coal does it shine no if you see iodine powder does it shine no nothing i mean non metals generally do not shine first of all non metals are not you can't find many solid non metals as such most of them exist as gases at room temperature and the ones which are so solid they do not shine sorry iodine shines that is an exception uh, sorry sorry iodine does shine iodine does have luster but carbon and other uh, solid non metals will have no luster then another thing is that when you think of a metal you think of something very hard which you cannot break so metals have another property of being hard and non metals as you know coal carbon it will be a powder so and even iodine in this case is powder so they are not hard then again you must have seen that sheets which are used for i mean some sort of 
some purposes they will be mostly metal sheets like you will have steel sheets iron sheets gold sheets you you can have gold sheets also you can have silver sheets also so metals have this property that if you have a lump if you have a lump of some metal and you start beating it with a hammer so what does this lump do it is hard it will not break so when you beat it with a hammer it will just deform and you keep beating it it will keep deforming until it forms a sheet sort of a structure you keep beating a metal you keep beating it for hours and hours then you will see that it has finally become flat and it is it has spread out like a sheet so this property of metals which is the property that they can be beaten by hammers or by anything into sheets that property is known as malleability that is can be beaten up into sheets and non metals you can just take the opposite of what metals have in case of non metal they are they do not possess malleability if you take a piece of carbon you hit it with a hammer it will break it will never get formed into sheets then like malleability you have another property that metals can be drawn into long wires you will see that your wires in in your which are used for electricity they will be copper wires because first of all copper is the uh, copper is a very good conductor of electricity actually silver is a better conductor of electricity than copper but silver is very expensive so it is not used so they are copper wires and why is it copper because copper is a metal and metals can be drawn into long wires without breaking and this property of metals is known as ductility and on the other hand non metals do not possess ductility and one more thing gold and silver are the most malleable and ductile materials out of all the metals because gold and silver i mean not because it means that gold and silver can be beaten up into sheets and they can be beaten beaten up into the thinnest of sheets without breaking and they could be drawn into long and thin wires without breaking 